Hello YouTube and everyone watching. I am WQXN966, also known as Jason on the GMRS Link Network. I am the founder of the network and I'm just going to give you a brief description as to why I started this network. I had my call sign for a little over two years now and I was down in uh, northeastern Illinois a very active area for GMRS. Um, great group of guys down there to talk with. Miss them dearly. Uh, became friends with a lot of them. Talked to them daily basis and I got to know them. Well, then I moved up to central Wisconsin and this is VHF land. If you are on VHF, you're talking to crickets. And, uh, well, all my radios were UHF. And I had no one to talk to because everyone else was on VHF. Well, as you know, GMRS doesn't qualify for VHF equipment. Yeah, sure, there's MERS, but uh, never was big into MERS. Um, so I winded up actually getting my amateur call sign and uh, started talking on the local 2 meter repeater, you know. Chinese radios let you talk on VHF. So I started talking on the local 2 meter machine and quickly realized I didn't have really anything in common with these guys and uh, found their conversations not very appealing to my uh, likings. I like to talk about anything and everything and uh, not just about radio, not just about weather. Uh, you know, I like to talk about what I'm doing, what I plan to do, uh, you know, and just what my day-to-day -day was like, where it seemed like on the two meter, if I was trying to talk about it like that, eh, it was very far and few between the people that I could actually talk to. So, I started the network uh, back in 2017, about November. There was my first person that finally responded to an ad. Um, maybe it was September, November, somewhere in there. Uh, maybe it was even August. Uh, the person got all of his hardware needed. And we linked. Worked flawlessly. But what fun is a network talking to two people? So I winded up telling them, you know what, I know of this other network. And I know the cause of this other network. The other network is a massive network but it is for the people that want to expand their repeaters coverage range well this guy lived nowhere near any of the other repeaters on this network uh, there's uh, quite a few smaller networks that are attached to this big network all over the country uh, there's about three or four of them and once you as an outsider try to go into their little group you got kind of shunned and critiqued and drove nuts and like nobody talked to you because you're farther away <clears throat> well to me it's not as fun hearing yeah it's raining over here it's raining over here it's raining over here well yeah of course it's raining over there you're only 10 miles down the road where if I can get reports from all over the country saying it's raining dang this country's got a lot of rain but, uh, so, you know, I felt bad that he was sitting on this hardware, and so I started producing an ad again, and, uh, finally in about February, uh, we finally had our first two other people that were wanting to join with us. Uh, the one still connected to us in Finley, Ohio, and, uh, we had another one here in Wisconsin that I helped the guy out to get on here, and there was four. It was great. Uh, we were all shooting the breeze back and forth with each other. And then we had another one added down there in North Carolina. And we gained a gr great person off of that repeater. And originally my quest was to bring activity on two people's locals' repeaters. Well, you can't draw in traffic that doesn't want to draw itself in. You know? And we've realized that over the last year that you can have a repeater up 
doesn't necessarily mean they will come. Uh, we've had, for many a different reasons, they might not want to talk to us. They might want to just listen. And that's their own prerogative. But that's why I started making these simplex nodes. Uh, the simplex nodes are f for the person that bought it. You can hook it up to an outside antenna and make it public. And if somebody's using a nice base station and they're within simplex range, you could sit in your living room, talk to them on a handheld. You know, and they would be able to get into the network as well. Uh, so, I mean, a repeater, if you want to add it onto the network, it can be a little bit of a hoop jumping through process, but it can be done. And, uh, you know, there is no guarantee that people want to talk to us. Some people are stuck in that mind frame of, oh, I only want to talk to the person 10 miles away. Well, you got local repeaters, you've got simplex, you know, I mean... The nice thing about the network is, is pretty much if I need a radio check, there's somebody there. We've got over 12 nodes, I think, connected now, and uh, hopefully plenty more to come. Uh, that's just a little bit about the GMRS network, or the GMRS linked network. And that's the actual name, is with the, the GMRS linked network. My trade sign on the network is my kids in the background, which I'm pretty sure you guys can hear in this video. So you get a little bit of a taste of hearing what I sound like on the radio. I just happen to be on the far end of the apartment here, so it's not as bad. But when they're in the same room with me, oh, wow. And some of the older folks get a kick out of it because they're missing their kids' youth years. And so they get to hear mine. Well, I'd rather take their kids over mine. Mine are kind of crazy. <laughs> but I love them to death. All right, so I hope you guys found this interesting. And, uh, you know, we do have our nets that we stream on our Facebook group. We do like to kind of keep our group kind of private. Uh, you know, the nets are, are open for everybody to listen to. But the general world doesn't need to know what we're, be, what we're saying across the network. If you want to know, join us. Put your two cents in. That's what it's there for. And all these people out here that are saying, Oh, a simplex, no, there's no reason for it. Well, I'm here to tell you if there is, I don't care if I'm the only one using it. It's money well spent. I don't care where I talk to, who I talk to. I just like to talk. So, 